presenting Elf Tales with adventure. Romance. Comedy. And danger. For your consideration, the home of the pig family, they're about to be victims of one big, very bad wolf with a case of hot air and a desire to take it out on three little pigs. Tomorrow, the pig's quiet existence will take a wrong turn down the off-ramp of life. Go two blocks past the big red house marked Misfortune and pull into an alley of tears, which leads to the dead end known as the Elf-Tailed Zone. Gordon Shumway, Sergeant Caprol, Comedy Logic Squad. I'm afraid you're not properly setting up the story. The Three Little Pigs is a wistful, enchanted tale. It needs a storybook set up. Okay, boys. What? Okay, Shumway, read and make it good. My uh, kitties are watching. Once upon a time, in the small town of Porkville, there lived a family by the name of Pig. It was moving day for the three pig boys. Think of their new lives. Think of their future. Think of getting into the bathroom whenever you want to. D -d -d Don't worry, m -m -m Mom. W -w we'll visit. After all, somebody's got to do our laundry. Well, thanks for all of your nurturing. We'll miss you. And we'll miss you, too. You haven't left anything behind. Uh-uh. Got it all. Sure there's nothing in your room? Not a not nothing. A, not, not a, a thing. thing. Good. Okay, men, bring it all this way. Put it in the empty room at the end of the hall. So much for a shrine to my youth. Here we are, out of the nest, on our own. T -t 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 totally independent. Let's, Let's build, build our, our new, new home, home right, right here. here. Let's make it out of soup cans. I say we go with popsicle sticks. What, 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 what kind of stupid idea is that? Gee, popsicle sticks, soup cans. And all along I was thinking of bricks, mortar, and steel girders. I guess I'm the stoop. I moved out so I could live in the kind of house I like. And that house is made of popsicle sticks. Uh, ever since I was a little bit of a boy, I wanted to live in a house made of soup cans. And now you want to take that dream away from me? You know, guys, a nice stucco is always in style. Popsicle sticks. S -s -s soup cans. Sticks. Cans. Guys, guys, let's all compromise on some federally approved building materials. Well, I'm building my house on my own. Me too. Anybody got a nice condo for sale? Oh, welcome, welcome. I have something very important to discuss with you. Well, I've got a big job for you. If you can handle it. Baby Wolf can handle anything. Good. There's a rich oil vein under some private property just outside of town. The owners don't know what they're sitting on. I want you to get them to sign their land over to the city. Mainly me. And if they won't sign, blow them away. Great. Just like the old days, I'll huff and I'll puff. 
Here's the address. Now, let's laugh and even laugh together and seal the deal. <laughs> <laughs> So much for friendly neighbors. Pretty groovy pad, huh? My brothers don't get it. Chips into popsicle sticks, and and all Robbie thinks about is building codes. Hi, BB Wolf. BB Wolf Demolition, would you be so kind as to sign this form which turns all your property rights to the city? Huh? No! I, I j j just, just built this house! I want to keep it! I'll give you ten bucks! T -t -t ten bucks? I, I don't th 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 think so. E even if I did sign, you'd need my brother's signatures also. We'll get to them. But first... <laughs> Mr. Pig! Mr. Pig! Let me in! Not by the hair on my ch 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 Well then, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. As you wish. Do you think he's serious? I'll have your brothers, too. It's time for an evil laugh. <laughs> hey, Chip. How about you and me catch a flick? Come on, Chipper. Hasn't this cold shoulder thing gone on long enough? Each entitled to our own house, you with your sticks, me with my quality materials, and Ernie with his pile of rubble and debris. Huh? Ernie, 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 Ernie my bro, bro. You, in you in here? here? Ernest. Ernest. No Ernesto. Ernest. You seen my brother around? He's a short, chubby guy. No, sorry. Thanks. Hey, who are you, and what are you doing looking through Ernie's shambles? I'm Laura Day, reporter for the Porkville Times. Laura Day? You wrote that daring expose that knocked the socks off the static cling industry. That's me. I'm Robbie Pig. This is my brother, Chip. Do you have any idea what happened to our brother? This was his house. By the look of things, I suspect that this is the work of... this man! Ed McMahon? Oh, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> this man! He looks pretty mean. Who is he? B.B. Wolf, Porkville's foremost demolitions expert and terrible guy. I am working on a story that will send Wolf to jail, along with Porkville's crooked mayor. You think Wolf has Ernie? He might. We've got to save him! I need proof of Wolf's corruption for my story. I've got a plan that'll get me into his office. That's probably where they're keeping your brother. I'm going with you. Chip, stay here and keep an eye on things. All right. Here's how we do it. First, you and I have to... Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Wolf, I'm Rowena Siding, ace reporter for Better Destroy Homes and Gardens, the Bible of the Demolition Industry. I have nothing to say to the press. Come now, Mr. Wolf. 
I'm here for a story, and I'm going to get it. We know you for exactly what you are. The best darn demolisher in the business. Me? We want you for next month's cover. I've always dreamed of being considered the leader of the vanguard in my industry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sit down. I've got lots of questions. <laughs> Are you okay? They, they, they set a nice table here. We, we had eggs b b b Benedict, Benedict this morning. What happened to your house? It, it was huffed and puffed to death. You huff and puff and blow houses down. That's right. When I was a little bad wolf, I had lots of allergies. It gave me shortness of breath. Yeah? Then I discovered this whole yoga breathing thing. It gave me powerful lungs and cured all my allergies but one. Which one? My allergy to... Uh, uh, to... Fla... 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 Flowers. But why does Wolf want our land? I don't know, no, 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 no. Wolf can't have our property, unless all three of us sign the deed. Th that means he'll come b b b back for chipping you. Sorry, Wolf. I'm not buying. Before I make you a cover boy, I want to see you blow down a house. But, uh, I tell you what, I'm scheduled for a blowing job tonight. Chip Pig, huh? You'll be at that address right after sunset, and you'll have all the proof you need. You got it, Wolf. All the proof I'll need. Don't grab him before you see my flash go off. I want to make sure I get a good, clean shot of him. No problem. Is Chip in the house? Ready and waiting. <gasps> Here he comes. This is it. Remember, don't grab him till you see the flash. Good evening. I couldn't help noticing the unusual construction of this house. Popsicle sticks, isn't it? Popsicle for the walls and foundation, creamsicle for the roof. I would like to buy it. Uh, plus, of course, the land under it. No deal. I can offer you a very handsome sum. This is pig land. Mr. Pig! Mr. Pig! Let me in! No way, Jose. Chinny, chin, chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Can I grab him now? Kid, Ernie, just signed with nice deep reading for Mr. Mayor, and you never have to worry about that big old nasty land of yours again. All righty. Not, Not by, by the, the hair, hair on my... Enough with the chinny-chin-chin! Chin. Boys, 
I want to be nice to you, but if you don't cooperate, I won't be able to hold back Big Bad Wolf here. Right, Wolf? Right. How would you little punks like a great big hot fudge sundae with jimmies? How many times must I explain it? I'm the good cop. You're the bad cop. You and your hostage strategies. Quick, hide them in the back. I saw what you did to the pig house, Wolf. You're our cover boy. Podkin here will take your picture. Now? Say Gorgonzola. I don't see them. Keep looking. Uh, uh tell me, Wolf, uh, what's your favorite color? Say months, 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 say Swiss. Yarg! Yarg, uh, that's a sort of a beige, isn't it? I found them. Let's go! And so your sordid game is over, Mr. Big Bad Wolf. Once again, the little people... Get me out of this! Oh, thank you. Any of you guys been thinking of dropping a few pounds? This would be a good time. Vaccine! If one of those bottles should happen to fall, three bottles of stuff on the wall. Thanks, Laura. Oh, forget it. All right, guys, let's hustle. This is ridiculous. Hey, everyone here who owns a house in one piece, raise his hand. Inside. All right, open up, you pig. A wolf here will... Stop. There is an art and a ritual to this. You're so callow. <clears throat> Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig. Let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny-chin-chin. Chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Now you'll see why I've been getting those home improvement books about every month. Mr. Blowhard, Mr. Powerful Lung, you locked over six trees in the mailbox. What are they doing? The mayor is tying a rope to B.B. Wolf. Now Wolf is starting to blow up again. Wait! We'll sign the deed! You will? Yeah, we want to make nice. In fact, we've got a little gift for Mr. Wolf. For you. What's going on? Uh, wait, wait! Don't sneeze! Gesundheit! Well, Robbie, I've got to get going. You're leaving? I've got a story to finish. I've got to find out why the mayor and the wolf wanted your land so much. Thanks for your help. Hey, that's what muckraking is all about. See you in the funny papers. Hello, children! Mom! Mom Dad! Dad! You came all the way across the lawn. I wish I had prepared something. 
Since you're on your own now, your mother and I thought you might like to have this. Th -th -th thanks I'll put it up right now. That's a fine-looking house. And it's very well constructed. And it's our home. That's what's important. It's our home and our land, and nothing will ever make us leave. That is like gold. Texas tea. Let's get out of this dump and move into a real house. Well, as long as we live in a petrochemical based society, I guess we're rich. It just goes to show you it doesn't matter whether you've got a lot of money or if you've got important parents. What matters is that you're honest and work hard and have oil under your house. <laughs>